to another healthy keto eating show. This time we're doing breakfast and I'm doing cereal. Can you guys guess what this is? I'm sure you already know from the description and what I wrote about it, but yes, it is Cinnamon Toast Crunch. That's right, but not the real Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I have done this with plain pork rinds. Now I have made a video on, a treat video, on these uh, pork rinds done as a cinnamon twist like at Taco Bell. And they were delicious, I loved them. You bake them in the oven, uh, you melt melted butter on them, and then you put cinnamon and sugar. Of course, I'm using stevia as the sugar. And I remember somebody saying to me, I bet you that would be good with almond milk. And I thought they were just messing with me, telling me it would taste like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And I thought they were messing with me. But I finally decided to try it out and I haven't tasted it yet, but I'm pretty excited. It smells really good. I know that I do like these done as the cinnamon twist like from Taco Bell. So I imagine it's gonna taste very close to Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And of course I've done unsweetened vanilla almond milk on it. Of course there's a slideshow after. And of course if I can get the voiceover on, that will be on there. If not, I will list everything down in the box, which I already do anyways. So it makes it easy for you guys too. If you watch the whole video and forget some things, you can just read it right in the just you know my description box. But yeah, I'm excited if this works out and it's Cinnamon Toast Crunch, it was one of my favorite cereals. Now I know a lot of you are thinking, ew, pork rinds as a cereal, but remember, plain pork rinds are just plain. And when you dice them up and you put things on them, it makes them different. Now they are the best, like I show in the video, you'll see um, a picture of the back of you know all the, uh, the ingredients and everything and you know the protein and the carb and all that, of course, is zero carb. Uh, protein is an insufficient protein because it's pork rind, so you can't really count these as protein. Um, and then the fat, of course, they're higher fat because they are pork skins. But when they're plain like that, all that it says on there for the ingredients is just pork skins and salt. That's the best way. You always wanna look for the lowest ingredients when doing keto. The less ingredients in it, the better it is for you. So, you know, that way you know for sure it's keto because of some of the other pork rinds that are like seasoned, they have like that um, maltodraxidine, I forget how you say it, that one is not keto, and different things that are in it, different ingredients that are not keto approved. So I like the fact that it's just pork skins and salt, I like that. But anyways, I baked them in the oven and everything, I'm not gonna go over that because I'm gonna try to make the video shorter, but you'll see the slideshow and the voiceover afterwards how to make it, and now I've turned it into a cereal and we're gonna go ahead and try this. I wanted to do a breakfast one with you guys. Now I also wanted to let it kind of just, you know, get some of the milk on it, the almond milk, so it would just really get flavored into there. But let's try our first bite to see if it's good, you guys. My husband did try it and he said he liked it. He said it did taste like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And that is a cereal he buys a lot. My husband goes on and off keto. Um, he is thin and you know and everything, so he goes on and off, but he loves Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And he said that you're gonna love these. It really, really is Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I wanted him to be the first one, the guinea pig, to try it because I was a little nervous. But here we go. Let me show you a bite up close. The lighting is so bright because I have my ring light on but let's go ahead and try it. Oh my God, you guys. Wow, it does taste like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Mmm. With that cinnamon and sugar. Um, I use the stevia, like I said, I did use the packages. Wow, this is good. I made two servings. When you see the slideshow, it is two servings and you do want to break them up and everything, you'll see I explain the whole thing, how to do it, because you want to get them in bite-sized pieces like that, bake it in the oven, and then, of course, let it cool off. I let it cool off for a couple hours so that it would be cold. You know, you don't want to get them hot. Hot is like when you get the cinnamon twist from Taco Bell, then you eat them hot. Just as a snack. Wow, this is good, and I'm not lying to you guys. If I didn't like it, I would not be going back for seconds, let me tell you that. Mmm. I always find it, you know, wanted to find a way to have cereals. Now, I know they do have keto cereals out there. I don't know how approved keto they are, but I'm finding ways to do cereal. You know, I know there was a couple times that I had done like those Quest bars. I'll break those up, like the granola ones or whatever. I'll break those up and I'll put the almond milk on those and I've done those as a cereal. Mmm. The more that the milk gets on it too and, and penetrates into the pork rind, that's really good. And let me tell you, I was one that did not like pork rinds. I would never, ever turn to a pork rind before keto. Because to me, it's like I could have chips and I could have, you know, the, the Doritos and all that, Cheetos, all that. So why would I turn to a pork rind? I wasn't a big pork rind person. 
But now because I don't eat those, I can only have like the Quest chips. And this is a crunchy. I really do like them. And I like to buy the plain ones and do them up myself. So you could do it with your own seasoning. Sometimes I'll put hot sauce on them and eat them as a snack. Sometimes I'll do my own seasoning on them and bake them in the oven like that. Um, adding, you know, after they're hot like that, they tend to get a little bit greasier. And then you can add seasoning to them and stuff. That way you're doing it yourself at home. You know for sure that they are keto approved. Um, but it's funny how I did a video one time of as these as cinnamon twist. And they are very close. Now, if I was to say... On a scale of one to a hundred, how close to you know, <coughs> excuse me, cinnamon toast crunch this is, I would say ninety-eight percent. Yes, ninety-eight percent. There is that little tiny bit where you know it's not cinnamon toast crunch. Uh, maybe just because of the, uh, not really the texture, but it's just that they're bigger than cinnamon toast crunch. Maybe a little bit of the texture, um, but of course, knowing in your head, I think it is just knowing it's a pork rind. But I'm telling you guys right now, never knock anything till you try it. This is delicious. Yum. Sorry you guys are getting these videos later in the day, but that I do uh, pre-recorded videos, but sometimes I have to do it on the day that I'm sending it out because, you know, of course we just moved and my brother's in the middle of moving and we were helping him with some things. So it's just been really hectic and busy around here. Mmm. I can't believe how good this is, you guys. Oh my gosh. Look again, look at that cinnamon on there. Oh my gosh. So good. And I tell you exactly how much to do for two servings, okay? So I'll tell you exactly how much cinnamon and how much sugar. Which is the stevia. Mmm. Hear that crunch? Oh, so yummy. Wow, I love it. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I had two cereals that were my all-time favorite. It was Cinnamon Toast Crunch and cocoa pebbles. Now, I don't know how to do cocoa pebbles as a cereal. I'm sure one day I'll figure it out, but I did do the cocoa wheats cereal, the hot cereal, and that was like spot on. I know a few of you tried it and loved it. It was spot on, it was cocoa wheats, and now I've done Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And when somebody told me this, like I said, I thought they gotta be messing with me. How could it taste like Cinnamon Toast Crunch? But I'm like, I do know the taste of it, but it wouldn't really be good, but of course I ate them hot. I wasn't thinking of it cold with the milk on it like that, the almond milk. So I thought maybe they were messing with me and I was a little bit scared and a little bit nervous to try it so I had my husband do it but he said it was good, so. Mmm. Yum, 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 you guys. Mmm. So obviously this won't be a really long video but I'll go over just a few things. If you are new to my channel, please definitely hit that red subscribe button. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of these videos. Hit the uh, bell so it will notify you when I upload a video so you can learn keto because I do a lot of videos. I do a lot of teaching. I've been doing keto myself for over four years. I um, I mean, coming up on my fourth year. November 4th will be four years for me. In 15 months, I lost 150 plus pounds. I went into maintenance at 139 pounds, went into maintenance and maintenance for about about a year and then I started to lose a little bit more. Um, I've lost a total now of 170 plus pounds. I went from 298 was my heaviest weight down to, um, I sit today at 128 to one, uh, like 135. I range right in between there and I'm happy at that weight there. Um, but I did this all so quickly because I teach that you use your body fat as your high fat source. This is a high fat, low carb diet and you wanna start with the body as your high fat source. So the less fat you eat, the better. So you wanna do egg whites, you don't wanna use oils and butters right away, you don't wanna eat the good fats that we can have, like the avocados, the nuts, the regular eggs, the butter, uh, mayo, things like that. You wanna wait till you're in maintenance mode and because then you, know, you don't have fat on your body, so then you need to consume fat. When this was, you know, first came out, it was like over 100 years ago, it was for children that had epilepsy. They were skinny kids, so they were trying to figure out how to stop the seizures, but not let them lose weight at the same time. So they did a 70% fat consumption for them that they would eat and, you know, only 5% uh, for carbs. So you only eat 20 or less carbs a day. So when this came out for us for losing weight, people that want to do it for losing weight, not for maintenance eating people that just are at their goal, but for people that wanted to lose weight, we're doing the same amount of fat. Now, if you are very obese, you will lose weight, but you will definitely hit a plateau and never get to a goal weight because 
your body then stops and because it's got its own fat to work with, it can never burn that. So start from the very beginning of your journey. Use your body fat. Eat lower fat. Do egg whites. Do low fat cheese, low fat sour cream, low fat cream cheese. Don't use the oils unless you have to. You know, cook your stuff in nonstick pans. Eat low lean meats like chicken and fish and, you know, things like that. If you want the tuna, use a... Uh, um, a light mayonnaise, you know, things like that. Really, you know, measure everything out and really try to keep it as low as possible. And then what's going to happen is your body will use its own body fat then as your energy source. And it is the only form of way of life that you can do this. And your body will give you all the nutrition it needs. And then it's going to lose quicker because nobody wants to sit at a certain, you know, weight. When you're trying to lose your weight, it, that's why so many people fail because it takes so long to get all the weight up. And a lot of people don't get to that realistic goal. I was one that tried many forms of diets in my life lost weight and one time did a substantial amount it was like 114 pounds but I gained it all back because I didn't get to that realistic goal this time I did and I'm happy I did and now I've been able to maintain that weight for so long and I was able to up everything that's what you do you up the calories you up the fat you get to eat all those good things and that's why I think this is the most sustainable way of life because not only can you truly lose all your weight, but then you can keep all your weight off as well because that's hard to do. So use that body fat, you know, use it if you need help. I link my email down below. I would love to help you to understand macros and calories. That's what, what makes up your calories is your macros, which is your protein, your fat, and your carb. That's what makes up your calories. I'd love to help each person. I Anybody and everybody that I have helped come in all the time and email me and tell me because of me, they finally have figured all keto the right way they're losing it they either got it off they're almost there they're losing it so quickly and they're so happy and I want to help you too if you need help definitely shoot me an email now those of you that I have a few of you that have emailed me I will get back to you I'm sorry I'm just in the process of it was my move and then I was helping my brother so it's just been really really busy for me and hectic so I'm sorry about that but don't worry I will get back to you I did get back to them and tell them that I need information from them they did return the messages back to me now I will get back to you I will set up a plan for you and get back to you and help you out now, just so you know, I am not a doctor nor a nutritionist, but I was taught by my keto doctor and two keto nutritionists at the same doctor office and my brother who teaches this as a job. So when I bring it to you, I'm bringing it to you professionally. Otherwise, I wouldn't do this. But I know what I'm doing and I know keto. I've studied it myself and I know it. You see me on here all the time. You know that I'm healthy. I'm happy. I have blood work done all the time. The doctor said that I'm as healthy as can be. I did everything right. She taught me to keep the fat low, use my body fat. Um, you know, I learned even from Dr. Berg that you want to keep the fat lower when trying to do it for weight loss. And, you know, people need to understand that keto was designed three ways for losing, gaining, and maintaining. If you're in the losing process, you use your body fat because you have enough fat on your body as your fat source. So sure, you're going to eat some fat but try to keep it as low as possible when you're um in maintenance mode you're going to eat higher fat than that 70 percent if you're trying to gain weight you're going to eat even more you're going to do like 200 grams a day if you're in the maintenance mode i do about 110 to 130 grams a day of good fats and that again is avocado the oils that are avocado oil olive oil coconut oil um butter you want to you can use mayonnaise you want to eat like eggs you know things like that that are good like good red meats good fish, things like that, like omega-3s and all that, you want to eat good, healthy foods, you know, and that's that's the thing that people don't understand. You want to eat good cheeses like goat cheese and find the cheeses that are healthy for you, not the processed stuff. You want to try to stay away from processed food. Of course, once in a while, we're going to have processed food. We have to on the go, and sometimes when you're making things, we do, but try to stay you know, at good healthy fats when you are in maintenance mode and even when you are trying to lose, if you eat some fats, make sure they're good healthy fats and you're going to get it off. But like I said, if you knew, you know, need help, I want to go more in detail with you, talk about keto a little bit more. I have lots of keto videos. I have keto mukbangs that I've done. I have keto journey videos. I'm going to be telling you guys about my four-year keto journey. When you get it, it's going to be passed because it, that's on Monday and um, I load my nail design on Monday. So you won't get that until... Um, you know, the, you won't get that until I think Thursday would be, uh, fourth, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, like on the seventh, I believe it is. I will open that, but that will be, I will be doing it on, you know, the video I do will be actually on my, you know, four year anniversary. And then when you get it, you're just going to get it late. But yeah, it's four years. I'm going to talk about, it. I'm going to show you photos because I've never done that. I've only shown you heavy to skinny. I've never shown you the in between as I was losing, as my skin was changing, as things were changing, the glow in me, the things that were changing on me, the scale pictures, different things like that. I'm going to show you guys all of that. Talk to you. There's going to be some emotional talking, um, where I was that dark place I was in, where I am now, what I 
went through and my heart condition, everything. I will go over all of that with you guys and be talking about that and just tell you how much I love keto. But yeah, I have journey videos on that. So just go into miscellaneous or journey videos or keto treats or keto mukbangs. I teach in every one of those videos and I do all these recipes and I do teach how to lower the fat. Now, something like this would be a little higher because it's, you know, the pork ranks are the higher fat, but if you're only going to eat this once in a while, it wouldn't hurt you once in a while to have this as a bowl of cereal in the morning. Um, if you're at maintenance, go ahead and eat it. If you're trying to gain weight, it would be a perfect way for that. But don't use this all the time because this wouldn't be a good healthy fat, you know what I mean? So, but definitely a way to have cinnamon toast crunch. Mmm. Yeah, the more it sits in that almond milk, the more it tastes like cinnamon toast crunch. Oh my God. But like I said, I am definitely one that wouldn't return back to this bowl if I didn't like it. I would have been honest with you guys. Mm, 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 mm. Some of the times I make these meals first, try them first, and then do the video because I want to make sure I like it. But I had my husband test, you know, test it, and we like each other. We like each other. We love each other. <laughs> No, but we like the same foods. You know, we do kind of have the same taste in foods, and he said it was really good. So here is the last bite right here. It's crunchy to the last bite. You hear that? Even sitting in this. Mmm. He used to love drinking the milk, too. Yum. All done. Wow. I would have never guessed that I could eat a bowl of Cinnamon Toast Crunch with no guilt and it be totally keto approved. That was so good, you guys. Yum, yum, yum. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, I don't want to make my videos too, too long. Some of them are going to be longer. I'll teach more. But this was a breakfast one and I'm going to have some, a few videos this week. I think on Saturday, you'll get a food video. I'll talk a little bit more in there. And I think Sunday, I'm not sure if I can do live yet because we don't have the internet yet. But I'll do some kind of video in there talking to you guys um, more about keto and stuff like that. I'll teach a little bit more. But these food ones here, I'm going to try not to have them as long for you guys so that they're just, you know, easy for you guys because they're really just recipe videos. But I'll teach just a little bit like I did in here, like I taught that because I'm getting new subscribers all the time. Thank you for the new subscriptions. Thank you for my old subscriptions. I love all of you very much. If you have any questions, you know, go ahead and shoot me a message down below or if you just want to say hi I love reading the messages um, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can and like I said if you need help I'd love to help you my email is linked down below and I'd love to help you get started and understand keto get on board get on that keto train because you are not going to believe the life-changing results that you get from it it doesn't just take your weight off it changes everything I was on 20 medications for a heart condition high blood pressure high cholesterol high triglycerides um, IBS, you name it, PCOS, you name it, I had it, it's gone. I'm on one medication for my heart now. I have a heart condition I developed 21 years ago, postpartum cardiomyopathy after I had my son, and I did not do good. My heart was not getting any better. It was 8% in the beginning. I got it as high as maybe 25%, and I sat there for years and years and just wasn't getting any better. I had to be on all these medications and medications. There's side effects with everything, you know, and now I'm down to, since doing keto, I started eliminating medications within just months. They were gone, and now 19 medications are gone. I take one really low dose, it's a beta blocker, and that's it just to help, you know, because my blood still pumps a little bit different, but the heart is almost to 50%, which is pretty much normal. Like all of you guys, the size has come down. It used to be double the size. The size has, has come down. It was the upper left ventricle was in size double the size. That's come down to normal. Everything is getting better for me. My heart's almost completely back to normal. I feel amazing. I've gotten off all these meds and I've cured everything else. The IBS, the PCOS. I've gotten off all these medications, you guys, and so can you. You know, the drug industry and all that, that's how they make their money. That's how doctors make their money. I don't condemn doctors. I love doctors, but you know, that's how they get their money, you know? So they need sick people or whatever. And when we're doing this, we're staying healthy and it's harder. So it's good to, you know, meet good doctors. Like mine is a keto doctor. She does keto. So I'm happy about that. And all the people I work with are keto. So I'm just happy about that. But just know it's your body, you know? L look at me. Look at all the people that have lost weight that are doing keto, it's like billions now. It's in the billions. And nobody has ever had a report of anybody dying from doing keto. It's a very healthy way. It was kind of how our ancestors ate Bible time. That's why they lived so long. That's why there wasn't a lot of medications back then, people taking medications and all that. And then our world became so obese and, you know, so many medications and people dying off young. In fact, I lost my dad. He was only 48 when he died of obesity. So, and all the different things, health issues he had wrong with him. Don't be a statistic, you guys. Get on 
board right now and get your whole family on board, get your kids on board, kids can do this too, get everybody on board and also remember to incorporate intermittent fasting. Do at least a 16 hour fast, eat two meals a day and fast for 16 hours. Eat in an eight hour window and fast for 16 hours. It's not that hard to do. You can start off with just like, you know, a low number, like maybe six hours and then work up to eight and then 10, then 12 and get to 16. And then if you can get to a 24 hour fast, which is called OMAD, one meal a day. And you know what? Sometimes I even did alternate day fasting or you can go longer fasting. Fasting is so good for you. It cures and mends and heals old cells and builds new ones because you hit autophagy. That's so important. So get on board, you guys. You're going to love it. I've got, I haven't, I don't have one on right now, but I sometimes wear my keto t-shirts that says my logo, keep it keto or keto power or just the different things like that. So if you guys are interested, you know, Shoot me an email if you'd like one or whatever. Shoot me an email and I would love, I've got a couple of people that have wanted some t-shirts from me or whatever. If you'd love to have my logo, if I've helped you and I've helped you lose weight and you'd like to wear my logo or you'd like to have the Keto Power logo that I share with you guys or any of that, just let me know again through email. I would love to make you a t-shirt. So, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely check out this Cinnamon Toast Crunch All Keto Approved. I love all you guys very much. Everybody take care. God bless. And I will see each and every one of you in my very next video upload. And always remember everybody to what? Always remember to keep it keto. All right, everyone, here's the ingredients to the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Plain pork rinds, unsweetened vanilla almond milk, Irish cream butter, stevia, and cinnamon. And I bought the pork rind and the almond milk and the butter from Aldi's. Great price. Preheat the oven to 350. Then while that's preheating, go ahead and take two servings of the pork rinds or more, whatever you want, and break it up into bite-sized pieces. Pop it into the oven on an ungreased pan for eight minutes. While that's going, go ahead and heat your butter in the microwave. When that's done, just set it aside. When the pork rinds are done, go ahead and pull them out. You can see they're nice golden brown there. Put it into a container that you can put a cover on because you're going to be shaking it as you add the butter and the cinnamon and sugar. Add the butter, give it a good shake, then add a fourth teaspoon of cinnamon and three of those packs of stevia. And that was for two servings. I mixed it up there, poured it over. But as I'm doing it, I'm doing a little bit of cinnamon, shaking it, a little bit more cinnamon, shaking it, a little bit more cinnamon, shaking it. Do that about three or four times. And then once you're done, go ahead and just set it aside, but go ahead and pull the cover off to let it cool off. But then, of course, later, you can cover it, put it away, and it'll keep it fresh. Now, I just made two servings. There's a bowl there at one serving. I added over one cup of the unsweetened vanilla almond milk. You can do just unsweetened almond milk. You don't have to have the vanilla. And it did taste like Cinnamon Toast Crunch at three net carbs a serving. Mm -hmm.